Aquarius, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot, and this is your reading for the year ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for Aquarius? Aquariuses? Aquarius? In 2024. Wands with the Empress. Some of you could be um, welcoming a new family member in 2024 because the Empress is all about birthing new things and with the Three of Wands, for me this is expecting. You're expecting something but it seems like a funny analogy to be like, oh you're expecting? You're expecting. So there's someone you're expecting to come to the world, come into your world this year, uh, someone new, a baby, or maybe this could even be an animal, because I'm just looking at that little, whatever that is, um, it's very cute, there could be an animal coming into your life if you aren't expecting a person, uh, what else, what else is happening for Aquarius? Ten of Pentacles. Um, I'm getting something about the start of your year. Firstly, Ten of Pentacles, amazing. But before I read that, I'm already getting something about the start of 2024. Might seem a little messy, but in a good way. It's almost like a satisfying mess. And that might sound contradicting, but it will make sense to you as it unfolds. It's like, there's going to be, I don't know, it's almost like when you have when you do a project and there's glitter everywhere and you go, oh my god, this is a mess. But at the same time, you're like, yeah, this is a mess. Like, it's fun, whatever this mess is. But I feel like that's your life. I feel like January, February, March is going to be very messy, but in a satisfying, you'll be pleased about it. Anyways, carrying on, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is the most pentacles you can have. So you kind of have very good finances in 2024. You're looking good. And if you're like, huh, what are you on about? Don't worry, it's coming. If you don't know where this is coming from, doesn't matter. It's coming for you. And that's all that you need to know. It's, it's coming for you. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to change your direction. You don't have to change paths. You don't have to look anywhere outside of your usual daily life. It's coming for you. And... It's, I don't know why I just keep getting, it's fresh, it's fresh, it's fresh, so it could lead to a fresh start, it could be fresh energy, fresh income from somewhere new and fresh. Oh, Aquarius, you also have ten of cups. So not only do you have ten of pentacles, you also have ten cups. So your family and home life, not only are you building something of... Building of something of, like, building a legacy, almost. Like, you're putting money away to give to future generations. There's something where you've got more than enough money to look after yourself, your kids, your grandkids, and on and on and on, where you're having to kind of look into protecting that. And at the same time, with the Ten of Cups, you have a beautiful, beautiful family life in 2024, 20, in particular, where things are going to be very blissful and calm and at peace and harmonious and it feels as if oh my god seven pentacles it's been a long time coming you also have the queen of cups here and the knight of wands okay and the three of swords there's something where, um, there's some type of pain with the Queen of Cups. You're very, very uh, tapped in, and you could... There's some type of pain around a Knight of Wands. So this could be somebody you're connected to and love, or this could be somebody in your life right now that is very passionate, very much... Um, it kind of like a player energy almost, but it's just in 
the way they deal with life is they play life like a game and they're jumping from one thing to another and if they're not happy they change and they they adapt and they try something new i don't know there's someone in your life that's a little bit younger than you um could be a child it's very teenager energy it could be a child or somebody that acts like a teenager and then with the um three of swords this is actually just somebody that I just want to say keep an eye on someone. I don't know why in 2024. If this is like um, a son or... Because this person is very... They're very... You don't know from the outside what's going on on the inside. I don't know why that's coming through. I don't know. So just keep that in mind. Tara's advice. So... Um, I feel like you can intuitively feel that somebody might be in some type of physical or emotional pain, but they don't really talk about it. Uh, two of Cups and Justice. Six of Pentacles and, oh, the Hierophant. If you are um, in a new relationship, or if you're single, you could get me... You could get be, you could be getting married in 2024 because you're connecting to a soulmate. Then you have justice. Then you have the Hierophant. And for me, whenever I see justice with the Hierophant, marriage. It's all I think of. I can't think of anything else. Don't shoot me. It's just what I get because justice is signing a contract. For some of you, if you're not interested in marriage, this is just connecting with someone through a contract. So you could buy a house with them. But it's something solid where you are signing a contract with someone. And with the Hierophant, I just feel as if marriage, marriage for a lot of you. And if you're not, if you're already married, if you're already married, it might be somebody in your life that you're closely connected to. That's like a soulmate. It could be a best friend getting married. That is your like platonic soulmate. They are... Yeah, but soulmates don't have to be romantic. So this is just somebody that you are like, you and them are attached at the hip. You just, you connect on another level. It's just energy um, where, like, look at them. Like, so with the Six of Pentacles, this is something that you, if you are, if it's you that's getting married, this is like, I don't, perfect isn't real. Perfect isn't real. Nobody is perfect. And I'm not saying that, this marriage will be perfect, but I'm just saying that <laughs> you and this perfect person are perfect for each other. Because with the Six of Pentacles, it's very reciprocated, and I just feel like you're going to be getting everything that you've ever given to anybody else but didn't get back tenfold. Like, I just feel like you're very giving and loving and caring for that Queen of Cups to come out. So you're very, very, like, you give to everyone else. And you're going to finally get all the love and care and attention that you've given to everyone else, given back to you. And it's very reciprocal. Like, it's a beautiful energy that for some reason you've never experienced, but are going to finally get to experience. And with the Hierophant, it's long term. This is commitment. This is beautiful. In 2024, there's just somebody coming in that is meant to be with you by your side. Um... And if you are married and you're like, what are you on about? Then you just have a soulmate. You have a new person. Again, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could just be a best friend coming in that, that is meant to be by your side in this life. Eight of cups, there you go. Like, you're making room for this new friend. You could have been already starting to clear your social calendar. I don't know why I'm getting that. Um, but you're walking away from any connections with people that waste your time and energy that aren't reciprocated that you're giving a lot of love to and aren't bothered about you much there's just this feeling of you knowing your boundaries and knowing that it's it's almost like this energy of you'd rather be alone than around the wrong people and the second you've decided that and you've left you've left being around the wrong people and decided like you deserve better that you are opening up for the universe to actually give you the people that are supposed to be around you what else is going on for Aquarius in 2024? Page of Cups. Ace of Wands. You're going to have a surprise. Now this actually feels a lot bigger than it's going to sound. Ace of Wands. There's a surprise passion or a surprise 
thing, hobby, skill, sport even, that you're going to take up for fun. And it's going to be very, very um fulfilling. So I don't know if there's been boredom or just time that you're like, I've got so much energy and it's almost like there's something missing from your life. In 2024, you're going to fill that space with some type of fun thing that you're very very good at and it's actually gonna like it's new you're gonna feel a little bit childlike to begin with when you're learning it if it's something you don't know how to do yet but it's like you're gonna spend a lot of time doing it page of cups like it's gonna surprise you you might have forgotten that you can enjoy things like this or something because i just see you kind of being a lot busier in 2024 because not only is your finance is doing well and your love life's doing well your work will be doing well and then you're going to also have like some type of thing that surprises you that you really enjoy doing that you're very passionate and excited about what else is going on for aquarius 2024 the high priestess with the emperor Ooh. so you had the empress at the start now you have the emperor and the high priestess so High Priestess is very psychic, she's very tapped in, she's intuitive. I think you already had this come out for some reason. Um, you're, there's something that you're right about in 2024, and you're like, obviously, obviously I'm right about this. Um, whatever it is, it's big. So it could be an epiphany about a person with the Emperor here. You could have a feeling um, about a Emperor, it can be a boss energy, it can be an entrepreneur. Um, maybe it's just you intuitively feeling it's time for you to become your own boss or it's time for you to start your own business, side hustle. That might be the passion project I was talking about. There could be something you want to start for fun that you're like, this is what I need. Like, it's like, it's like you intuitively feel like it's going to be the right path and very good for you and you're right about it. But to be honest, nothing in the physical reality is going to show you any proof of this until you start doing it. So it's almost like, Someone around you might call you crazy for starting it. Like, you suddenly just decide, I'm going to write a book. And someone around you goes, huh? But you don't write. You didn't do well in English at school. Why would you write a book? You don't know what you're doing. There's something where, like, nobody around you is going to understand this. Or that it's going to be a little bit like, why are you doing that? But you just have a hunch or you just have an intuitive pe feel that you want to do something and that it's going to work out. You're right. And it's actually going to be very good for you and others with the emperor i just feel like you're the one in control so just ignore other people's opinions if you want to start something that makes absolutely no sense do it because you've not been given that want for no reason it's there for a reason what else two of wands yeah you have a choice and you don't have to but you can choose to just ignore this one and carry on but i feel like it's going to be very good for you and very it's going to bring you a lot of joy and happiness if you choose to follow um this pull this pull to do something new. The full? This pull to do something new, and then you get the full card. Beautiful, Aquarius. With the Page of Pentacles. Look what is on this card. She, this little fairy, is writing. Some of you are going to be writing a book. Some of you are going to be writing poems. Some of you are going to be writing something. Or it's just telling me I'm on the right track here. You are writing. And there's something you're creating that others are going to go, huh? Huh? Aquarius? And it might not even be that. It could be something completely different. You could just suddenly decide, do you know what? I'm going to run away and join the circus. And I have a feeling it's going to work out well for me. And everyone's like, what? What? You're right, though. You're right to do that. You could run away and join the circus and it's going to work out well. Just do whatever it is. Or don't. But Tara's advice, and I feel like you'd be very, very happy if you do choose to do this. Um, it's almost like pay attention to the reasons why you wouldn't choose. And I feel like the reasons why you wouldn't choose to do it would be out of fear of others' opinions or fear of it not being successful. But at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter because you've got nothing to lose. There's like a false, there's like an idea of a fear, but it actually wouldn't. It's like the worst thing that could happen is someone judges you, but their opinion of you, they don't even understand. It's just like people are on a completely different realm to you, Aquarius. So if they were to judge you, they wouldn't even be judging you at all. They'd be judging themselves, but, but pretending to be judging you. I don't know if that makes sense. Queen of, Queen of Pentacles? The Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> uh, with the Empress. 
That's weird. I thought the Empress had already come out. Wheel of Fortune. You have very good luck coming towards you. This is Sagittarius energy. There's things happening and unfolding for you, all in divine timing, as they should. There's a very lucky break coming that... Should you choose to accept, will be very, very fruitful. Should you choose to accept it. I don't know why it's coming through. Should you choose to accept it. Seven of Wands with Temperance. Uh, stand up for what you want. With the Seven of Wands, this is always for me. This is about, like, standing up for yourself. I don't know why I'm just getting someone's going to be like, calm down, Aquarius. And you're going to be like, I'm not going to calm down. I'm angry about this for a reason. I have something to say. And I it could be really lighthearted, but it's just you standing up for something that is very good and lucky and positive. Um, it's also, I'm getting something about your intentions. People might try to miscredit, discredit. People around you are going to try and discredit your intentions as to why you are standing up on speaking out about something or it's in that kind of energy and then you're going to be like no with the wheel of fortune I, you have positive good intentions and I think that you might flip something around onto others and like I don't know you're going to teach people a lesson in some way where you go well you're actually putting your own beliefs about yourself and your own intentions for doing things onto me because those would not be my motives I don't, like, you're, you're making people think. I don't know. You could be like, um, there's something here where you're very tuned into other people's minds. Because you're, like, very good at manipulating things into, not manipulating, that's the wrong word. You're very good at flipping things around and creating situations where people can understand you because I feel like it's very hard to be understood these days completely nobody really understands anybody um as much as anybody wants them to it's like what is it people understand 60% of what you're trying to say um I feel like people are going to be understanding you 100% and if they don't you're going to make sure they stick around until they do I don't know there's just this like force within you this year where if somebody mis you might really not like being misunderstood because this year nobody will misunderstand you. It's like you're going to make sure you prove your point or you say what you have to say. I'll get you one last card. Um, Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. So we started off the reading with the Ten of Pentacles where I said you have a lot of financial independence. Financial, sorry, abundance. You have a lot of success coming in financially you also have nine of pentacles now so if you are in a relationship where you and this person are very very um you're both making a lot of money you're also like i feel like you might realize that you're completely content on your own next to this person now that might sound like a weird thing to say However, the fact that I'm saying it might be significant. Maybe you've been in relationships in the past that were codependent or just situations in the past where you felt like you had to be with someone to make ends meet or something. Really weird message. Sorry, thought there was a spider, but it was just a fly. Um, <laughs> That's going to look really funny if I watch that back. Nine of Pentacles. So you're, you're safe and secure within your realm without needing anybody by your side, but you're getting to choose to keep somebody by your side, if that makes sense. Um, it just seems like codependent energy is leaving the building. If there was any, you're completely satisfied and strong within your own body and mind and soul in 2024 and somebody else next to you is exactly the same it's so healthy and nice um also i just feel like there's some type of spiritual awakening with the hangman here where you're gonna realize that maybe you're i don't know it's, it's almost like you're in you might feel at the very start of the year it's almost like fight or flight mode where you're like mm. you're a little bit on the fence as to whether everything's working out or not working out and you're like mm. like a little bit unsteady but then as you like 
carry on down your path, you're going to realize, oh, looking at things from a different perspective, I am so, so happy with where I'm at. I'm so strong and secure within myself and everything. I've got all this going for me. There's something where you're going to look at yourself in a new light this year and really start to love and like yourself more than you ever have, which is very beautiful. Um, I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated or you feel it will because it's not happened yet, please let me know by liking and subscribing and I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Total Tarot Tuesdays.